Welcome to Breakthrough. Today, we're going to be discussing the use of the quad tendon for ACL reconstruction with John Zoroyans from Atlanta, Georgia, and Lee Pace from Plano, Texas. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Absolutely. Gentlemen, we know with any innovation, there's always a learning curve. John, what is your best pearl for someone who is starting to use the quad tendon for ACL reconstruction? I think there are several, but the first is visualization. Um, I think you need to see um, the quad tendon. So resect the fat, use a retractor, get the scope in there and look at it. Know which direction you're going. Then you got to make sure you, you have full thickness cuts of the distal three centimeters of the tendon. I use a double blade knife, get three centimeters, free it up, and then it's perfect for the quad pro. That's what the quad pro is for. It makes it easy. You put it on and you just move it 360 degrees. Let it find its path. It measures perfectly and you're going to get a beautiful tendon. And Lee, what about you? Yeah, I think early on, uh, a big concern for a lot of people is directionality. So they, you know, they're afraid that they may skive off and go one way or the other. So to John's point, get a retractor in there, put a camera up in, see the quad tendon, see the muscular tendinous junction. You can actually lift the camera up and sort of indent the skin. You can put a little purple mark there. And that way, when you're using the quad pro, you can aim towards your purple mark. You're not worried about skiving off into the muscle. Exactly. Yeah. That's very important. And the other part that I really like is, and John hinted at it was, you know, it's, it's all wrist, right? You want to, I keep my elbow at my side so that I'm not moving the quad pro. It's very sharp. So you don't want it to go off track. And the other thing that I find very helpful is if you get the quad pro in, don't pull too much tension on your sutures um, and just let it find its spot and just keep it in that native position. When you get it through that distal three centimeters you've elevated and you just keep it in that position, it doesn't skive down, it doesn't skive up. So you just hold that and it will just pull the graft out for you. Right, right. It, it's like cutting butter. Yep. And if you think of it that way, don't over, just let your leg hang naturally and just turn it 360 degree turns. Don't force it and it'll cut nicely and it measures perfectly. Well, those are some great uh, tips. Now, John, how has your patient selection evolved when choosing to utilize the quad tendon? You know, when I first started, I was thinking big guys, football players, collegiate, pro guys, and now it's evolved into everyone. I think it's a great graph for every type of person. If they're very small to very large, it's a great option. So we know that the quad tendon can be used for athletes, weekend warriors, and in the revision setting. Lee, does using the quad tendon change your rehab protocols in any of these populations? No, um, you can use the same rehab protocol that we'd use for a bone patellar tendon bone with our current fixation strategies that we have. There's no reason to slow them up. And I think Lee, the, the fiber tag tightrope is amazing. It's great soft tissue stabilization, but you can go hard. The only thing I would say is push extension early and hard because they, this graft synovializes a lot. You don't want to end up with a, a, a cyclops lesion. Yeah, terminal extension by two weeks for sure. Absolutely. So gentlemen, this has been an incredible discussion. Any final thoughts you want to leave our viewers? John, we'll start with you. I think don't be afraid. I think there's a lot of good videos we've made. We're always available to talk to people. And it's just, a, it's an easy graft to harvest. Don't be afraid, learn the anatomy and the quad pro and the fiber tag tightrope. Those two things have changed my practice. Yeah, I would echo what John said. This is a great graft. I started off 50-50 patella tendon hamstrings. I'm basically 100% quad tendon. Take a little bit of time, go to a cadaver lab if you need to, get used to it. But it follows the same principles as anything else. Know your anatomy, understand your instruments, you can harvest this graft and you will have very happy patients with this. Absolutely. John, Lee, thanks again for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Be sure to tune into our other breakthrough episodes, including highlights of the literature, the surgical technique, and case presentations. Thank you for joining us.